Hi, boys and girls. How are you? We are doing great. Teacher Joyce here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's service. Do we have any new explorers today? Anyone joining us today? Great! We welcome you with so, so much love. All right, so explorers, today is the day the Lord has made so that we rejoice and be glad in it. Well, so who had their birthday this past week? Anyone at all? Great, we are going to celebrate with you. So, if you had your birthday in the past week, we are saying happy, happy birthday. Whee! Wow, we praise God that you added one more year to your life. All right, thank you, thank you so much. Right now, dear children, our country and our city are still on high, high alert for COVID. All right, so what you need to do is continue masking up, masking up. When you are in a place where you are not alone, where you are with someone else, please mask up and mask up the right way. You cover your nose and your mouth, all right? The other thing you need to do is wash your hands. You wash your hands with soap. If you are in a place where you cannot wash your hands, use a hand sanitizer. Sanitize your hand. And remind auntie, remind mommy, remind an adult at home to continue disinfecting surfaces. All right? And if you are in a public place, observe the social distance. Don't be too close to someone. All right? So dear children, if you follow those five rules, will keep safe and healthy. Boys and girls, we now come to the part of the service where we have to deal with offering. It's offering time. Are you ready for offering? Great. Well, our offering scripture comes from the book of John, chapter 3 and verse 16. John chapter 3 and verse 16. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Right? God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. All right? So we were so lost, but God said, No, 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 no. These people should not continue being lost forever. Let me send, let me give my son so that he dies for them and they have eternal life. So God loves. That's why he gave. Okay, so we are going to give today because we want to show we love. All right, so giving is a way of showing that we love. Are we ready to give now? All right, so we have uh, instructions on the screen, giving instructions on the screen. So ask daddy, mommy, auntie, uncle, anyone, an adult, okay, to help you get your offering reach the church. Are we going to do that, boys and girls? Great. Wow, so now let us pray for the offering. Jesus loves me. All right, let's pray. Our Father and our God in heaven, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that you are the one who gives us everything that we need. We thank you, Lord, even for this seed that we are sowing today. We thank you, Lord, that it will share the love of God throughout the world. It will share the word of God to the lost. We thank you, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, uh, can someone here tell me what the Bible says about obeying our parents? Anyone? Has anyone come across that scripture? Well, the Bible tells us, it commands us actually to obey our parents. And in so doing, we shall have a good 
and long life. That's what the Bible says. So there are so many commands in the Bible, but there's this one special one of obeying our parents. Why am I saying it's special? Because it's the first command that comes with the promise. And what is the promise? The promise is that when we obey our dad and mom, we shall live not only a good, good life, but also long. Our life will be long and good. Isn't that awesome? A command, an instruction, but with a promise, with a reward. Wow, I think that's great. That is awesome. So, boys and girls, let us learn. Let us apply this. Let us obey our parents. Why? Because there's a reward. There's a prize so that we live a good and long life. Explorers, our memory verse for today comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. I'll say that again. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Do you have your Bibles first of all? I have mine. I have mine here. So Ephesians is in the New Testament. All right. So if you can't find the book of Ephesians, you ask someone at home to help you find it. All right. Remember, we learned about the parts of the Bible. So by now, I believe you know how to find the books of the Bible. All right. So our memory verse for today comes from the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. And it says, children, children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord. You belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. I'll say that again. Children, obey. To obey is to follow what your parents tell you to do. All right? So if dad says, no, 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 don't do that. Obey, meaning follow, listen, and do that what uh, dad tells you to do. That means to obey. So children, obey your parents. Because you belong to the Lord. All right? And the Bible says it is the right thing to do. It is the correct thing to do. Meaning, if you don't follow, if you don't obey, you are doing something wrong. And that is not right. All right? So I'll go through one more time. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Children, obey your parent because you belong to the Lord. For this is the right thing to do. Thank you so much for saying the memory verse with me. Continue saying it over and over again so that it is stuck in your mind and you put it in practice. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the service. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt uh -oh. to the land of Midian. Uh -oh. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses uh -oh. and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. So Moses went to Egypt. And on his way there, he met Aaron who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a special plan for Moses. 
Hey, everyone's up. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. After rallying yeah. God's yeah. people to them, yeah. Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. and said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. Uh, huh? uh... So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, You will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey! Moses told this to the people. Hey, hey. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Hey! God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Huh? Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoo, shoo. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh! Oh, my. Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up and heard a great cry in Egypt. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, they were terrified. <laughs> But God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant. Well, explorers, we've come to the part of the service where we get to make Jesus our friend. How many have made Jesus their friend? Oh, great, that's awesome. How many have not yet made Jesus their friend? Oh, great, that's awesome. Jesus is so happy to see those hands. All right, so it is not difficult to make Jesus your friend. It is as easy as A, B, C. Okay, so if you have not made Jesus your friend, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for you. All right, so Jesus came here on earth 
to die on the cross for your sin and for my sins. Okay, so that we can be reconciled with God, so that we can be in good books with God. So if you have not made Jesus your friend, here's what you do. All right, so like I said, it's as easy as A, B, C. Ta-da! So we have our A, B, C. All right, so A stands for accept. You accept what? You accept that you are a sinner, that you do bad things, that you do wrong things. All right, so you accept that you are a sinner. And B, B stands for believe. You believe in your heart that God had to send Jesus here on earth to die just for you. All right, believe that in your heart. And C stands for confess. We confess with our mouth. You cannot just believe in your heart and keep quiet. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. You confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is your Savior. All right, children? So, I'm going to lead you into a very, very simple prayer. So, pray after me. If you've not made Jesus Christ your friend, pray after me. Or if you have made Jesus Christ your friend, but you have stumbled, you have gone back to your old ways, pray after me. Say, Dear God, I thank you for your love. I thank you for sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for me. I thank you, Lord, that you did not choose for me to remain in my sins, but you chose to send your son to redeem my life, to save me. I know that I do wrong things. I know that I'm a sinner, but I choose to follow Jesus now. Thank you for accepting me in your family. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, if you prayed that prayer with me, you are a child of God and heaven is rejoicing. Heaven is happy that you are part of the great, great family. Now, we have a book here. This book is great. It will help you in your walk, in your journey that you've begun today, the journey of following Jesus Christ. So, for you to get this book, you need to follow the instructions on the screen so that this book can reach your hands and you are able to read it, you are able to follow Jesus Christ in this great, great journey. All right, children? So remind, tell someone big to follow the instructions on the screen so that this book can get to you. All right. Now, uh, we've almost come to the end of our service. I'm saying almost because we still have some activities. There are some links down. All right. So we have some link for the present worship and we also have a link for today's activity. All right. So we have some great, great activity, a coloring sheet. So for you to access this coloring activity, you need to follow the link which is below. All right. So dear children, Thank you so much for joining the service today. We believe you've been blessed. Remember, continue observing the five golden rules. We want to, act to receive you back here physically, safe and sound. All right, so before we separate, before we close, let us pray. Our Father and our God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for today's service. We thank you, Lord, even for your word that teaches us to obey our parents. Help us, Lord, to do just that because it is a command that comes with a promise. Thank you, Lord, that your promises are yes and amen for us. Thank you, Lord, even for protecting us. Thank you, Lord, for watching over us. Thank you, Lord, for providing everything we need. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, that your love is great. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. 
have a blessed week explorers we love you so much and guess what we miss you we miss you so 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 much we can't wait to have you back here all right explorers take care of yourselves and ciao